Hi, welcome to Big Ted's Home and Garden. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to replace this old fluorescent light fitting and replace it with a much more efficient LED fitting. As you can see here, this fluorescent tube's flickering away as it's trying to come on. This is a really common problem with fluorescent light fittings, but you can normally solve it really, really easily and very, very cheaply by replacing the starter. You can see the starter in the metal casing just above the tube. I'll zoom in on it. There we go. A new starter costs less than a pound, they're dead easy to replace. And normally changing the starter will sort out any problems with the fluorescent tube. But in this case, we've had a couple of new starters over the last few years and a new tube. So I think it's time to stop throwing good money after bad and replace the entire fitting. I'm going to replace it with this. It's a 1.8 metre or 6 foot 24 watt LED baton. This came from Wix, but most DIY stores sell something similar. I bought this a couple of months ago, but I think it cost just over £30 at the time. So the first thing we need to do is turn off the lighting circuit at the fuse board and then we can remove the fluorescent tube by pulling back one of the end caps and then pulling the tube out gently. Be careful with this because it contains mercury vapour, you do not want to break it. You'll then be able to see the screws which are holding the cover on the casing. In this case the cover's in two halves, each held on by two screws. Remove the screws and pull off the cover. Once you've removed both face plates, you'll be able to see the internal wiring, the screws that are holding the fit into the ceiling and where the wiring connects to the mains. You see this black terminal block there. That needs to be disconnected. Use a terminal screwdriver to disconnect the grey mains cable from the fitting. Once you've disconnected the mains cable, you can then unscrew the light fits in from the ceiling, or in this case, the uh, ceiling joist. And then you can remove the old light fits in, ready for recycling. Three plastic clips are used to hold the new LED fitting in place. These have to be attached to the ceiling or joists. Roll plugs are supplied if you need to drill into a plasterboard seam, but fortunately, because I'm in the garage, I can simply screw the clips straight into the joists. Once all three clips are up, you're ready to start wiring the new fitting in. The wiring connects to the new fitting underneath this flap here. You can unclip it and lift it up. And this reveals the push fit connectors for the three mains wires. You can use these connectors if you want, but I don't like them. So I pull the block out and then simply push down on the toggles and you'll disconnect the, the wires. I'd much rather use screw-in terminal blocks, I think they're much more secure. And as you can see, they're not going to break the bank. And as you can see here, they're exactly the same size as the push-fit blocks which were in the original fitting. The mains cable feeds in through the hole in the top of the flap. And then you can connect the wire through the terminal block. From left, we've got the neutral to neutral, earth to earth, and live to live. If you've got old style wiring like I have, it's the red's the live and the black's the neutral. Then it's simply a case of closing the flap and clipping the fitting into place into the plastic clips that we attached to the joist earlier. So it looks good. Let's see if it works. Turn the mains back on, flip the switch and perfect. Instant light and no flickering. LED lights are 40 to 50% more efficient than fluorescent lights, so hopefully... This will pay for itself in the next couple of years or so. Obviously, that depends on how much I use it. So, I hope you found this useful. If you have, leave a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to Big Ted's Home and Garden. We'll see you soon.